What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to get shooting badges in NBA 2K22 next gen fast and easy with the best shooting badge method. And throughout this video I'm going to give you guys tips to make this method as easy as possible. The best part about this method is you don't even need a high 3 pointer. My 3 pointer started at 69 when I started doing this method, now it's at 72 and I already have 8 shooting badges. Before you guys start playing any games, you guys want to pause your game, go all the way over to options, then go into settings and put your game on superstar and five minute quarters if you're in college or the g league like me you won't be able to put your game to superstar yet you have to wait till you get into the nba but make sure you go ahead and do that once you get into the nba then you want to back out of this screen go to controller settings and make sure you turn your shot meter off because you will get a huge boost for this as long as you time your shot right and it'll help you if you have a low three pointer like i do the best part about this method is you don't even need the ball in your hands a lot and you don't need to dribble so it works for every build this method is really simple, what you want to do is go to the top of the key, give the ball to one of your teammates, then you want to run along the 3 point line towards the corner, because wing and corner shots are way easier to make than top of the key shots. And while you're running to the corner you just want to call for the ball, and for some reason you'll get a really good animation that'll leave you pretty open, and trust me some of these shots might not look open to you in the beginning but as you can see, it looks like the defender's close to me but this shot was wide open. And you're not going to be open every time, I would say you're probably going to be open every 7 or 8 out of 10 times, so if you're not, just pass it back to the person because you don't want to take any bad shots because that's just going to lower your shooting badge progress. And if you haven't gone to the NBA yet, like me, you want to try to go to the Lakers because they have LeBron, who has Hall of Fame Dimer, Hall of Fame Bullet Passer, and Gold Floor General, which are three badges that are going to help a ton with this method. They also have Westbrook, who has all three of those badges gold, and they also have Rondo, who has all three of those badges silver, and one of them is probably going to be on the court at all times. When it comes to the badges on this build, the first badge you want to max out is catch and shoot. Obviously, I can't get it to silver right now because my three-point attribute isn't high enough, but you want to put catch and shoot as high as it can go. Then after catch and shoot, you want to go to sniper. This badge was in the game in NBA 2K21 next gen, but it was a totally different badge, so this badge is actually really good now. Then after sniper, you guys want to focus on dead eye because some of the shots can be anywhere between 5 and 30% contested, and I've greened 30% contested shots with a really low three and maybe only three shooting badges, but dead eye will definitely help a ton. After dead eye, you want to max out corner specialist and these are the most important badges but if you have enough badge points to upgrade other badges after corner specialist you want to go to hot zone hunter then you want to go to green machine and last you want to go to volume shooter 